Daniel from Tabletop for One here. Please join me at the table as I unbox Banish the Snakes. And so here we are with Banish the Snakes, designed by Kevin McPartland and Jerry Shiles. This is a uh, GMT game. And this is about St. Patrick in Ireland. Let's go ahead and check the back side here. It's got a quote from St. Patrick. It says, if I have any worth, it is to live my life for God so as to teach these peoples. And Banish the Snakes is a cooperative or solitaire game that simulates Ireland in the 5th century while, Roman, while the Roman Empire was collapsing and the West and Ireland was turning to the Christian religion. And so obviously the goal of the game is to convert the peoples of Ireland to the Christian religion. Being a former religious myself, I'm not sure how, how I feel about the theme, but when you play war games... There are lots of themes that are problematic, I guess you could say, but they're also historic. And um, that's all I'm going to say on the subject. All right, let's go ahead and check out the inside of the box here. All right, so it comes with historical background and example of play. Gives information on St. Patrick, Palladius, Bridget and others be interesting to read this and see what they say about the the topic i do hope that they were fair to both sides or all sides of the the situation but we'll see and then here's an example of play for a two-player game given a few first turns and then here's the rule book so we have the introduction the contents here, so it comes with a bunch of cards, six player mats, six player pawns, custom turn marker, there's different level church blocks, and then there's all these different blocks representing people, druids, leaders, graves, relics, other things as well. And here's the game setup. Looks really nice. Colors are striking. Example of a player's turn, event cards, talks about paganism in Great Britain, removing, replacing people, leaders, actions, building churches, making relics, talks about death, the game end here, and then here is the solitaire play, and so it says it plays seamlessly with any number of players. And it explains the minor adjustments to the solitaire play. Here's some key term index. And then some references on the back. Okay, here are the six player boards. So it looks like they all come just in different colors. But nothing else is different other than the color. And we have some stickers here. Two sheets of stickers. Because these are going to go on the wooden blocks. I've not had a game like this before, so... That'll be interesting, put that all together. And then here's the board. And it looks quite good. Everything looks clear. The coloring, at least with my eyes, looks clear. I can only imagine that a colorblind person might have some difficulty with the coloring here. There is some iconography behind some of the words. So maybe that's helpful, I'm not sure. I hope so, but... And then places to put all the cards in these tracks here. All in all, looks very good. And then we got a bunch of bags and some cards and all sorts of stuff here. It's a bunch of blocks here. I gotta, like I said, I gotta put stickers on all of these. <laughs> Here's uh, some of those church blocks there. And others as well. The player pawns. Looks like a giant bishop or whatever that is. And more church blocks one single die more blocks and a bunch of discs in the player colors all right then we have some cards here these are at the start saints as well as gift of the spirit <laughs> there's holy spirit cards maybe there's a holy hand grenade <laughs> sorry bad joke uh we have player actions so reference cards there 
Let's check out these. The art is interesting. Here are the saints. Very iconic art. And then we have a whole deck of event cards. And so the event cards are going to change the state of the game as you draw them. They all have the same back here. And so we have more of the saints doing various things. Different uh, actions that happen. Attacks, invasions, diseases, epidemics, prayer, convocation, druid revival. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different events here, and they're, they're going to affect the game state. Here's more of the saint events here. All right. So there you have it. So I'm all about the gameplay on this one. I'm not sure how I feel about the theme. Actually, I'm just not feeling the theme, I guess. But I do like the art. I do like the look of all the components. I am very interested in the gameplay, and I hope it's... An enjoyable game to play. I also think it's going to be educational for me because I only know the Christian side of this from my history. So I do think I want to look into the other side of it, like the the Druids and the others as well, to understand all that went on during that time rather than just getting one side. So for me, it'll be an educational experience as well as a gaming experience. And this has been an unboxing of Banish the Snakes on Tabletop for One. Please comment below and let me know what you think of this game. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you like the contents you see here. And I thank you very much for watching Tabletop for One. Have a great night.